questions I ask the guys about, the, the younger guys, when they're in the locker room, who they look to as the leader? And it kind of seemed like it was all of them was, was kind, of, kind of the answer. Do, do the older guys all bring something different to the table as far as leadership right now? Yeah, I think something different is a good way of putting it. You know, it's, uh, you know, I think Xavier's been the most vocal of anybody. Uh, you know, Cardi puts in the time. Um, you know, Mac, when he, there's days when he practices really hard and, you know, does a good example of that, you know. So, you uh, and Pearson, I think, is, you know, quietly does a great job. He cares so much about the team and the program. And so, you know, you, you hope, uh, you know, when they combine them all, you don't have that dominant guy like Barry, who was probably, when I mentioned what each guy does, Barry did them all. And, you know, that's, and, and I said it last year, you know, I've done this, you know, at that time, 40 years, and I've only had a couple guys like Barry, you know, two, th two or three guys that compare to him. So, you know, we were very fortunate, and that didn't come. When Barry was a freshman, he was trying to survive, you know, but he, you know, he had such a belief and confidence in himself and, and a, a, a will to work uh, that even then he thought he was the leader, you know, as a freshman. So he, at least he imagined he was in his own mind. So it's, it, you know, so you, you, you hope slowly but surely uh, those guys will, you know, one, they have to, I think they have to get comfortable in their roles. And that's, that's been another process for our older guys, mm -hmm. you know, that it, it's totally different and for all of them. And, you know, I was on one of the radio shows this morning. They asked about the end of the game. Well, they're all in different roles. They they have to go through this. If you go back when Dean and those guys were freshmen, Dean made that shot against Georgia. But after that, I think we might have won one other close game, you know, and, and we were – because I went through it. I I got it. I can even look it up for you. It was, it was like two and eight, and then it was, you know, six and eight, and then it was – 10 and four, and then it was, you know, whatever. So 12 and one or two, you know, so it, it you know, it's a process. And, you know, I think for the guy's sake, they, they prepare to win. They, they compete to win. You know, we led for 33 minutes and they led, or 34 minutes and they led for three. Um, you know, we just got to find a way to improve so that we finish the games off. And, it, and it, some of that is even within the game. We had chances... Uh, where we we let momentum run, swings stop. You know, we just we whether it's a missed shot or it's a quick shot, bad decision. You know, Antonio gets a rebound. It's three on two and goes all the way and falls down. You know, you make that you make the right play on that. You know, little plays like that can all add up uh, to helping us. You know, maybe get more momentum during the game than just so we don't have to focus totally at the last three minutes all the time. How do you help your players balance the grind of having 17 conference games left against the urgency of the next one? I mean, now? it's all you can, and I told them before the last game, just all you can focus on is one at a time, and that's all you can do. And that, you know, I think I'd, and I've said it to you before, I'd just listen to Coach Snyder help me learn about that. And, you know, I, one of the things I've learned, I don't even look at the schedule. I just started looking at it last week because more for recruiting because we got to know which days we – you know, or having off, and when you want to, when you're going to have a chance to go out and see some of the kids. So, I really try not to, you know, because it's daunting. You know, if you look at it, 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 it can be overwhelming. And right now, just you know, who has that toughness to come back? You know, they they want a, a you know, thrilling game in overtime, and we lost the tough one on the road. Now, can you come back and prepare? Um, and you can get yourself ready for for Tuesday and and at eight o'clock, um, you know Wednesday they're off. Uh, you know we got to be careful. This is a young, fragile group, <laughs> physically and mentally. You know and and you know we uh, the grind it will take its toll if if we are not careful. Is TCU playing much differently than they did last? No, uh, it's all uh, obviously you don't have the magical passing of Robinson. Um, you know he was really you know. When you went up against them, you just you were scared because he could just do so many things. And um, you know, our goal before was we try to wear him down, and and I think we had some success with that. Obviously, you got Bain; uh, they've given him a lot more freedom. Uh, Nemhard has you know really gotten better, and he's gotten more freedom to to do some stuff. And then 
Uh, the big fella's played. He's played well. He's made improvement. He's a big old body, and he gets that ball inside. He can, he can score. He plays his butt off. And then they've just kind of mixed in some other guys, just kind of, uh, you know, that kind of a lot of new faces for them with the, at those other positions. David is only averaging more minutes than Pearson and James right now. Is it a big game thing, or is it a practice thing with him? I think both. You know, he's got to practice better. Um, you know, I, I, I couldn't. I, I from way back in October, I, I begged him from every day. I, I I promise you, it's almost every day. I need you to play harder. I need you to practice harder. I need you to be more definite on everything. And 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 I've told him even back then, you know, you got to. I, I want to play you because you can bring some things to the table, but you also have to try to defend. And, um, you know, it's just, uh, you know, and, 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 and now he, he's probably, like a lot of guys, he's probably lost a little confidence. And, you know, it, I thought after St. Louis maybe, you know, he would take a step. And, um, you know, he, 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 he didn't. And, you know, he gets in the games and he's, he's got to take care of the basketball. It's got to be the number one thing, and you know you hope he distributes and makes right decisions for us, and at least be solid on defense. I don't. There's, there's a lot of guys on a lot of teams around the country that you know aren't great defensively, and you can you can you can make up for that, but he's got to do the other things. You know he's got to really take care of the ball, distribute, and and make his open shot. So then that offsets maybe where he's not quite there yet defensively, but. Uh, you know, we, it would it would be nice. It would ease the pressure, I think, on Cartier and some of our other guys. How much progress are you seeing right now from Dave Vaughn? I thought he's, you know, I, I just, last week, I I think I mentioned, maybe I didn't to you guys, but I just asked him, because he's, you know, he's, he's like a lot of the young guys. Oh, I got to do better. And, you know, he wants to do so well and getting frustrated a little bit. And, and I just said to him, how many minutes did you play yesterday? And he said, 27. I said, go look around and see how many freshmen in the country are playing 27 minutes. You're, you're doing okay. And, you know, and, and I said, all I want you is play hard. And if you do that every day and focus on that, good things will happen. He got a little scoring done. Um, you know, he was shooting about 39 from three and then, you know, had a little, made that last one. But I think he had missed six, seven in a row, maybe a little, even more than that uh, from St. Louis game on. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it, and one of the things I asked him again, I said, you, one of the things, you've been in the gym. Have you been in the gym lately? He said, no, I'm tired, coach. And, and so, you know, I said, well, you might want, I don't want you to be in there an hour, but it might be 15, 20 minutes early, 15, 20 minutes after practice, come back at night, just get spot shooting and it helps you. And, and the other part is taking care of your body. This, it's, it's, it's uh, freedom is a, you know, no school, it's great, but it's also freedom. And, you know, are you getting sleep? Are you eating right? You know, we try to give them a little bit of freedom to have a couple meals and then a couple, you know, a little where they don't have to have. Cause you go out every meal, they get, it gets old. And uh, so, you know, we kind of mix it, but again, can they deal? Do they have the maturity to deal with that freedom? So, but he, you know, I, heck, he's, he gives us a lot. There's no doubt. He and he always tries. I mean, there's, you know, he tries as hard as anyone. It might not have, always be perfect, but he tries. Would you like to see Mike be more aggressive? On well, you know, I, I I asked the guys yesterday in film. You know, who's our best three point shooter? Who's our best shooter? Really, when it looks down, he's forty six percent from three. And I said, how many threes did he get off? He only got one. Now, part of it was his fault. He didn't jump to the ball. He reached in three times and got three fouls. And so now his minutes were really cut and never got in the rhythm of the game. Because he's not – you. He's. it's got to be off of the everybody else and to get shots for him. Uh, and I even said to coaches after, you know, do we need to find some sets to get him some more shots? And um, Because he, he is shooting the ball well. And, uh, you know, so that – we got we got to you know help him if you know he's got to get five seven shots at least and but again it was it was some of it was foul trouble that he never got involved. You've had a culture of winning at Kansas State, Montavious and the Dijon uh, both won at combined seventy one and five their senior seasons in uh, in high school. Um, do you see hints 
that they could become leaders down the road? Oh, year or two yeah. Year to... I don't think any doubt Dejuan will become. He's even done it now. He's, he speaks up. He speaks up quietly, but he speaks up sometimes. And, uh, you know, I, I think he'll, I don't think there's any doubt he'll be a, he'll be a, a leader. Monte, I think he's just going to be example. He doesn't quite have that personality that, or you know, that confidence. So, but uh, you know, it, it. Him and Antonio are kind of they complement each other. One's kind of uh, very confident, and, and the other one's very you know just solid and and does what he's supposed to every day. That, that final four minutes there, where you guys you know, didn't, didn't get any points right there, is it shot selection? Is it just shots not falling? What, what's the cause? I of think that? there was combination. We turned it over a few times. We we took some uh, quick shots, some little tougher shots. I didn't think we went to the basket. You know, they went to the they went and created, made put the refs you know in a bind and they call fouls and we never we didn't do that. You know, now what what were the baskets Cardi scored? down the stretch, two times to the basket. And then, then we didn't do that again. Um, we were very I, I, very cautious against the zone. And, I, and, you know, the crazy thing is, it, and we didn't, you know, they hadn't played zone one time. And, and, you know, we didn't put a lot of time into it. But the whole week before that against Tulsa, that's all we did. And, and we, you know, we made them get out of their zone. So, you know, what happens? But it's... You know, it's it's being on the road, game. The momentum changes. You know, now somebody get us into our stuff. Boom, 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 move it. And and we just didn't attack inside enough. I didn't think so. You know, and again, that's hindsight. Barry was always kind of your closer late in games when you go to him at the point and everything. How long did it take him to cherish that? You know, to embrace that role? And do you think any? When do you think somebody on this team could? Yeah, you know, I, I hope. You know, and we we always bring back that when Cardi against Kansas at Kansas first game, he he made some plays down the stretch, and you know, but again, that it wasn't expected of him, and it's it's different when it's it, you know what's happening. You're the number one guy in the scouting report, and you know what's coming. You know, now can you still make that play? And and Barry didn't do it as a freshman. I mean, he wanted to, he thought he could, and that's part of why he was successful. But uh, you know, it. it it it'll I, I think it'll come uh, you know it's you know, I, I, Cardi wants to he's just got to realize sometimes it's going to be a pass sometimes it's going to be a drive sometimes it's going to be a shot he can't predetermine that you you it because every defense is different every end of game situation is different. With this with this kind of young team with these freshmen, how patient do you have to be right now? Uh, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard. I mean I'm. It eats at you, but I, as soon as the game was over, I, I tried to remind myself instead of going off. One of the coaches kind of got, I said, hey, all I care about is Tuesday night. We're one and one. Eight o'clock. We got to get ready. It's over, done with. And, and I, um, I'm trying. So I may go home and, and hit the wall and, you know, scream and stuff. But, I, you know, I'm in front of, in front of them. I got to help them. And, and do my best of that. But they got to be demanding of themselves to improve, too. Um, that's, that's one thing. Just improvement just does not happen. It, it, you have to, you know, you got to demand yourself to get better, the little things that, that help you get better. And that, I still we got to be demanding of them, but we, I think we have to be careful at, at bashing them. I told the coaches, at, I went recruiting Saturday night, but I texted them, I said, it's a fine line, we cannot bash. Right now, we have to help, and but that doesn't mean you can't be tough with them, and and you know. But I think talk is is probably more important. Make sure. You know, talk meaning communication. Com with yeah, yeah, communication. Yeah. Yes. You kind of uh, alluded to this before the season that about them being a young team and everything. Is it taking longer than you? Know, yeah, I thought it would be a little easier. Yeah, I really, I did, and. But again, you know, you look at all our games. Um, you know, we're there. <laughs> we're there. I mean, so you go look. Marquette just beat Villanova pretty easily. A week ago, Villanova beat you know Kansas, probably our best team and one of the best teams in the country. So, you know, we it's not like we're not that far off, but we are far off because 
what do we have six losses or whatever so that but you know can we change it here when, when you talk about those late game situations do you get tempted to go more micromanaging in those or the other way and make it feel more like it's I, I, I think the now. one nice thing, uh, we made improvement in the Oklahoma game. They actually scored out of basketball, playing basketball. and Because and, it's really hard as a coaching staff to have to script every basket. Now, if we script the couple, start at half, we script the basket, Mac gets a layup. You know, those make – but now if, if, they can, if they can just play basketball, and I thought we – that was, for me, one really positive thing. And some of that at the end of the game, you might have to go make a play. But uh, right now, after, after Pittsburgh, I, you know, I'd say, oh, we're going to make sure we, you know, especially the last play, we got to make sure we know what we're doing. Otherwise, I go home miserable because I gave them that freedom. So if I make the mistake, that's my fault. What's it like seeing West Oaks and Selton Miguel beat one of the best teams in the country? Yeah, I was real, I was actually I was supposed to be there. I was went to one game and I was supposed to get there and then there was some little weather issues and I couldn't get there. I really felt awful um because, you know, that uh, you know, that Prolific's one of the best teams. I got some of the best players in the country. I coached Jalen Green this summer and um uh, you know, it, it it's pretty cool and he's player of the game. And they came back and beat another good team on on Saturday, so it was uh, uh really Good weekend for him and 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 their team and uh, hopefully they get some nice publicity from it. He's he's a tough, hard nosed kid. He he he's got a little bit of Dejuan in him. You know, loves to play. Uh, not very very humble. Um, you know, came over you know as a, as a freshman with nothing, and you know he's he's survived and made himself into a pretty good player. So that that was that was that was good good for him and hopefully good for us in the future. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.